What up, folks? I say, what up, folks? Lame joke, I know. I'm not a comedian. This is a Hot Wheels Blings 8 of 10 from the 2005 First Editions, and it's called Blocko Wood, so it's just their own design, apparently. It's not a Chevy, nor is it a Ford, but it looks most similar to, like, a 1940 uh, Ford Woody. Okay, and uh, I guess the regular, well, the first one may have been red and wood colored but this one is an alternate it seems it seems to be silver and white so okay this thing has some really open wheels they're also absolutely massive the massive size wheels and you can see right through to the uh the body there uh, it's interesting because the body's white but eh, well i'll probably change it so i do like that they cast it in the wood pattern so that's cool and then the door handle here is, uh, they're sticking out. It seems to be an opaque uh, window, so no interior. So this front end, yeah, this grill doesn't resemble anything perfectly. But it, it looks old, like a 40s vehicle, a 30s vehicle. The headlights are sticking out here. It seems to be like a, I don't know if that's a casting line, but it looks like, you know, the hood is a separate piece almost, sort of. So that's nicely done. Um, going to the top, yeah, we have a soft top here, and again, it's blacked out, and then this side looks the same as the other. Looks like a little gap here, so this thing is snapping into the casting. So this is all plastic here, this whole back end, but this is cast metal painted with the uh, silver metallic. So yeah, all plain back here, but nice, you got some door handles here, and then nice four exhaust tips with some recesses in them, so that looks pretty realistic, I think. And then we have the text this way, Blocko Wood, Hot Wheels outline here, press fit together, some undercarriage details, including those exhausts. So, yeah, you can see actually they snapped with a little ledge here for the top part. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I, I, it's nice that the, I like these wheels and all, but they don't look very classic or hot rodish to me. So I think I'm going to have to swap these out. Here we are with some 100 spoke wire wheels like Dayton's and stuff. And so you might be curious, how did I get this thing in here without actually having to drill the thing apart? Well first I took a bunch of clippers and I clipped off the two, two wheels here. And so then I was able to clip off the end of the axle. So I'm actually reusing the axles that came on this thing. And then I 3D printed the tire, the wheel, and the center cap separately. So there's a hole going through this wheel. So I can actually put a tire inside the casting, then I can put an axle into the wheel, and then I'll push the wheel into the tire while it's inside this model. And then I do the same here, and then once the two are centered, I can then glue on the uh, center cap. So that's how I go about doing that without having to drill it apart. And if you care, you can actually, it still rolls, you have to space it properly. Uh, but I think I actually have some metal washers in there, yeah. Not necessary, but you can space it, you know, wider, but it might start dragging against the casting, so I chose not to do that. Alright, uh, not much else by way of paint, just a little silver here, and it's already falling off because I've been fondling the model. Uh, and then some red on the taillights and a little bit of black in those exhaust tips, and I think that's about it. Uh, maybe I added some silver there, or that could have been there already. Alright, let's take a couple other ganders at some other castings here and uh, let's see first a realistic one we have this auto world sub suburban patina thing so it's kind of a classic suv or wagon or something cartoon wise we have this churro q it's a japanese hot springs van or something i don't know what vehicle this is in the real world maybe it's not it could be a complete fantasy casting it doesn't tell me Pretty cool detail though for it. And then this is a cheap toy I bought it at like a tourist shop. It's made by Kins Fun. You can buy them on AliExpress and eBay probably. It just says little van, but clearly it's a Volkswagen uh, van. Just no copyright licensing, but it's cool. It's got plastic headlights and stuff like that. So you can see the staggering here. Very big wheels on the thing too. A lot of printed details. Nice. Okay, so let's get this four going. Hot view. So the Hot Wheels is longer than Choro Q and this Kins Fun, but the Hot Wheels is 
shorter because the, the greenhouse is very short like it's chopped or something like a hot rod all right well let's take a spin over here oh boy this thing's falling yeah that thing's flat it rolls too too much so yeah I don't like rolling models for that reason but with a little poster putty here it doesn't mark leave any stains or anything like that so just jam a little bit in next to one of the wheels and that's like my little emergency brake system and uh, I could always remove it so what cartoon character today I had to fish one out of the pile I have no idea what franchise this is but I bought this locally and there are like a whole dozens of them I don't know who makes this or if this is from a cartoon show or what but they have these really strange square faces. Well, uh, big jeweled eyes and stuff like that. But anyway, it's just an old guy, and this is an old car, so I think it's fitting for today. Okay, well, another Blings project is done. It's pretty cool. If I could find the red version of this Hot Wheels, I'll pick it up if it's a, you know cheap enough. But for today, this is pretty nice. I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, modification. I'll see you the next time I do another one. Bye.